All right, check it out. In this box right here, Big Mac, I have my own birthday gift for Grimace. It's the Steak Big Mac. It's in the box. We're going to check it out. I know you saw the thumbnail and you're scratching your head. You're like, what are they doing over there? I'm going to show I'm going to show you what I was doing over there. It's the Steak Big Mac. We're going to check it out. Cue the intro. What is up, everyone? It is the endorsement, and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. All right, I got the thinking. Right up here in the noggin, the head noggin, I said, wait a minute. They have these new uh, bagel sandwiches, steak bagel breakfast sandwiches. What is it going to taste like on a Big Mac? The steak. Because I don't think they've done that yet. They've made the bigger Big Macs, things of that nature. So I went to uh, McDonald's, 1015, 1020, ordered two of the um, steak patties by themselves. They were a dollar each. That was two bucks, and I even got a slice of cheese on each one, and uh, I think it cost me $2.60. Then I sat at a uh, booth, I sat in a booth, and I waited about uh, eight minutes till it clicked over to lunch, ordered a Big Mac, took the uh, Big Mac beef patties off, and I put the steak patties on. They are the perfect size. This is the Steak Big Mac. There they are. There they are. They might even be a little bit bigger than the uh, ever so shrinking, <laughs> every year it seems they're shrinking, uh, Big Mac uh, beef patties. So this is what we got going on, a steak Big Mac. We're about to check it out. Here we go. All right, we are going to check it out. Uh, shout out Carolina Mudcats. Shout out to Carolina Mudcats. All right, let's go. This, I'm so interested to see. I haven't checked uh, YouTube to see if anyone else did this. I thought in my head, I'm like, these uh, breakfast sandwiches with the steak are not going to be around forever. They're probably going to get taken away pretty soon. And uh, then I started thinking, why don't they make the steak an option at lunch? Why is it only at breakfast? So I had to do the little, you know, kind of go in at 1020, order, wait, order, put together, review, film, launch. Make the thumbnail, edit. You know how it goes. You know how you know how it goes behind the scenes. Let's go. Wish me luck. The steak Big Mac. My own little uh, creation. My own little creation. Here we go. Oh. Circumference a little bigger. Thickness definitely bigger than the um, Big Mac uh, patties. Check it out. All right, so let me tell you this. There's definitely a, a meteor bite with the uh, steak patties. You can just see the thickness right there compared to what you would see with a uh, Big Mac patty. So let me tell you this. I like it, but I just think something about the nostalgia flavor of the beef, no matter how thin they're getting, paper thin a little bit sometimes, just saying, um, so I like that it is a uh, heartier bite, but at the same time, the flavor of the steak with the Big Mac sauce and everything else going on here is good. But for me, I'm such a uh, nostalgic purist that I might like the Big Mac better after uh, one bite. I'll take a couple more. It is worth it because you have more uh, substance, you have more uh, of the protein, but at the same time, it's not the same, which we knew, but I was like, is this going to be better? Is this going to be the way to go for a Big Mac? It is really good, check it out right there, but if I spent $4.19 for this, and then I spent uh, $2 uh, for this, six, it's like a $7 Big Mac, so then the price gets up there, so you're probably like, oh, I don't think I wanna do that, and again, you can't substitute the uh, beef patties for the steak, at lunchtime because they don't serve these uh, steak patties at lunch. So, another bite. Rookie move. It's good. Don't get me wrong. Hearty. Good flavor of the steak. Just not the same. Still really good. All right, let's clean the palate. 
with a little pipeline punch um, juice monster. I don't see this one too often. Sometimes. I reviewed this uh, years ago, three, four, five years ago. That's pretty good. Uh, rookie move. I was so excited about getting the cheesy jalapeno bacon quarter pounder. If you missed that video, I either launched that earlier today or uh, yesterday. Uh, I was so excited to get that while I was putting together this that I didn't order uh, my standard large Coca-Cola from McDonald's. Uh, so I'm washing it down with a pipeline punch. Uh, to finish this off, this is good. It is definitely more expensive, but it is a more substantial uh, sandwich. You are getting steak, so there's the uh, possible excuse for the uptick in the uh, charge if you wanted to try this. Uh, but I think my Big Macs are $4.19. Again, this is probably $6.50, something like that, when I put it all together. It's good. It's steak. It's different. And I love doing these little mashups for you. So final bite, we'll give it a quick rating and uh, send you on your way. But um, I like it, and it was well-made. Shout out to uh, sandwich artist over there at my local uh, McDonald's. Which is me. Did you get that? They didn't put this together. They made it with the beef. I took off the beef, and then I moved it all around and made it like this. I'm the sandwich artist. <laughs> Semantics. All right, so um, if I had to give it a rating, which I do, I rate things over here. Let me just show you the back end. A lot of Mac sauce. I didn't even order extra. It was a really well-made uh, Mac uh, sandwich. Mac sandwich. It was a really well-made Big Mac. They did actually do a really good job. I then tweaked it with the uh, steak. 1 to 100. That's an 80. I'm going to give it an 88, but I think if I didn't have that nostalgia feel and that nostalgia factor, and if I could swing this uh, for a price that was closer to what the Big Mac is, it would be somewhere in that 90 range because uh, I love the Big Mac. Uh, it is like my favorite uh, burger from uh, memory from when I was uh, a child, so that's why it holds a special place in my heart. Uh, so there you go, another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media getting the word of my channel out to the masses. In closing, there you go. Light up the comments. Let me know your thoughts on this. Have you ever tried this? Have you seen somebody else try this? Has 709,654 billion, 8 trillion TikTokers already done this? Probably, but... There you go. I brought it to you. I thought about it without seeing it anywhere else. Thought I would enjoy it. I did. Thought you would enjoy it. I hope so. That's it. We'll see you soon with some more reviews. Bye.